What's up, Jabberty Steven here? We're back to get another reaction. Today we are hopping into Gilmore Girls episode number one of season number three, Lazy, Hazy, Crazy Days. Hopefully it's a great episode. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully you've been enjoying the series. If you have, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Patreon for the full reaction. Uncut episodes over there if you want them. If you don't want them, totally cool. You can get episodes here whenever they show up. So, last episode, the main thing that went down is, of course, uh, Christopher is a great A jackass. And uh, yeah, that's we'll just leave it at that. Uh, now uh, Lorelai's gonna have to get over him again. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rory, yes, he made the horrible mistake of kissing Jess. So that's gonna be a whole thing, which I'm not happy about it. Um, I don't like what she did. I uh, hope that she feels as bad as she did when she missed her mom's uh, graduation. I doubt it. I don't think the show's gonna. I don't think the show's gonna go that route. I think the show's gonna try to make it seem like Rory's, I don't know. I feel like the show's not gonna make us look at Rory as a bad person. You know, she just kissed another guy. She does all these things to make us not like what she's doing. The whole Justin sucks. I hate that she does that. And I hate that Jess does it too, but Jess is a jackass, so it makes sense for him. The fact that she's falling into it and then, then kind of letting herself get to that point, right? And of course she's, you know, She's a teenager and everything, so it's, you know, it's just, it's going to happen, but it just sucks that she's so, I don't know, naive about it. But we'll see. We'll see how she handles it. She ran away. She was going to Washington for the summer. So I don't know if we're going to follow her. That'd be kind of cool. But we're going to hop in here, have a good time, like, comment, subscribe, pretty much. Here we go. But seven, Who is in this? Case when seven comes, I actually want to get up, which, as it happened, I didn't. Therefore, you're currently responsible for the great alarm clock slaughter of 2002. No survivors? The one shaped like a bunny escaped with a mild decapitation. I'll put Why a are you here? Cereal. Dirty. Fine. Why are you cooking here. her breakfast? Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Now you're I'm, up, you're fed. When? I'm when did oh, hey, we? Hey, we I'll alert the media. The, see, that's better with the accent. It's original Another wrong. Back. Mm. Goodbye, crazy lady. Very weird dream. Yep, okay. Woo! <laughs> okay. He kissed me and talked to my stomach. Why would he do that? Because apparently I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? With twins. <laughs> what the hell, what the hell that's happened right, to you? That's right, that's right, that's right. Hey, Taylor, how's the leg? I yeah, thought that outfit was going to look cool. Put that banana peel on your doorstep. The hat no, does not make that outfit work. Suspects. It yeah. kind of looks like a hey, nightgown. Um, what's all this for? This young lady is for the first end. God, I love this. You don't realize how qualified her. most of America's youth is until you gather them all up in a room and make right? them speak. Does he like her? So, who are we up against? Jason Roundsavault and Ty Fredericks. Perfect. Jason's got asthma and Ty cries. Okay, so we should meet early and go over strategy. Make sure you brought enough Kleenex. Good, good. And then tonight we should get together and celebrate over dinner. What if we don't win? Don't lose it on me now. You're right. So dinner? Sure. What do you mean, what? He just asked you out on a date. He did not. Yes, he did. You're having dinner with Jamie tonight. <laughs> I'm going on a date. Yes, you are. Oh, man. I can't <laughs> believe this. I finally get asked out on a date and I missed it. <laughs> was it a good ask out? It was a very good ask out. God, I wish I'd been there. Well, you'll be there tonight. <laughs> tonight. Tonight, I have a date. Tonight, I have a date with Jamie. Mm -hmm. The Princeton man. I'll tell him you invited him. Oh, you didn't him. tell him. And tell him to come with you two next week. I want to see the three of you together. Oh, yes. shit. You didn't tell him. That would be a nice her. picture. All right. See you tomorrow. Oh, yes, Jesus. you will. Bye. Yeah, I guess you shouldn't tell her. She's so happy with... Ah, uh, then you're going to have to. You're going to have to tell her. I'm playing her. at 10 at 3. I'm in a I can instantly deduce that when someone hears the name Paris in the same sentence with the word date, jaws will drop. Confused looks will cover faces. Words like how and why. You sure it's safe? I'll be fine. I'll see you Friday. See you Friday. I love you. That's it. I'm shaving my head. Gotta go. You didn't okay, even say Paris, it back. You have got to calm down. I had a black sweater. We don't wind up in a restaurant that's really just a front for a cocaine laundering ring. Sit. Jesus. <laughs> dare. He was dare to take me out. I oh, bet God. Trent Lott was behind this. Trent Lott. Swear. Thanks. Now get in the closet. What? If he comes oh. in here and sees you, he won't want to date me anymore. Paris, that's <laughs> crazy. He's seen me. He's seen me for weeks. Yes. In conferences, crowded lecture halls, badly lit banquet rooms with crappy food smells. Not at night when oh it's dating God. time and he's thinking about dating and you're standing there looking all dateable. Oh I'm my not God. looking dateable, please. <laughs> I can't risk it. At least if there's nothing to compare me to, then I've got a fighting chance. Oh my God. I see how a Zagat. I don't even know what a Zagat is. <laughs> don't tell me she's locked in there. Um, you can 
come out now. Oh, this sucks, man. She's right into. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Dude, they are so like best friends. I'm never leaving home again. Oh, that's my is proof positive of my deep undying. They're gonna do the. I appreciate it. They're gonna do the. They need to just the break them up now. Forget it. Okay, I'll throw in a set of steak knives. My bags, please. Are you telling Let's me? Let's break them up now. Well, why would I not want to go? Of course I want to go. You just got home. You got Dean coming over. No, I want to go. I want to go because this is our town and we need to support these things. All and right, Jess is going to be there. You don't have to change for that. <laughs> Man, dude. Has the show ever made you not like a character so like so much right now? I don't like Rory. I don't like what she's doing with that. I don't like that she's willing to freeze out her dad. See? Three minutes faster. <laughs> I also found... I don't understand why you're so upset. How can you not understand? What did you buy? What look at this the hell? Oh, I think it looks nice. The work to do. Just what? put it back the way it was. No, Aren't I you... want you to be happy. I was happy. I told you I was happy. You, you just didn't want to believe I was happy. We'll just check on them. Or you literally okay, so just said that she's going to freeze she's out her father in solidarity candy. with her mm -hmm. mom. Except a little start with cotton candy and end with cheese Even stick. Really the dad didn't do anything wrong. No, I'm, I'm Oh, well, nice, Jess. He's got his what I did this summer essay all researched and ready to go. <laughs> hey, what is wrong? Oh, God. What is it? It's that. Jess? Yes. You're upset about Jess? I said yes. Yes, it's Jess. You're not being funny. It's not my fault <laughs> that Jess and Jess rhymed. Did I exploit the opportunity? Of course I did, but... Sorry, come on. This is a thing. Well, it wasn't planned. It just happened. I can't believe it. All this time I'm thinking she's with Dean. I am with Dean. No, Rory, kissing another guy is not being with Dean. Ask him. I bet he'd back me up on that. <laughs> well, then why are you so freaked out? I'm, I'm not tell freaked him. out. Look, tell kid, him, you've got to make up your mind. Do something. Dean has been sweet and supportive and incredibly patient. And now you're officially treating him like dirt. And I'm sorry, yes. but not yes. only is that not you, he doesn't deserve that. God, I, I wish they knew another song. I know all of this about Dean. You do? Yes, I do. I know how great he is. I knew it before you did. Well, knowing this has apparently not stopped you from dragging his heart all over this town. Not fair. Yes, fair. Yes, it fair. is fair. There's no white affair. Yes. I don't want to talk to you about this anymore. Okay, okay listen, bye. You don't want to be with Dean anymore. Cut him loose. Now go ahead. Tell us. Okay, there's a, there's well, a way to phrase oh, this where it, you don't come off looking like your oh, parents won't great. get mad at Maybe you. We could just do that. Okay, I guess it's present time. Open it. it? <laughs> well, it's just, um, Chris and I aren't... Aren't what? Together. They aren't together anymore, Richard. Why not? I'm sure this affects Rory too, you know. Emily, you're wasting your breath. I know this affects Rory. I'm not doing this lightly. In fact, I'm not doing anything at all. There's no reason to raise your voice. The father of my granddaughter and her mother can't seem to put a family together. His girlfriend is pregnant. There you go. What? Sherry is pregnant. And when Christopher found out, he went back to her. Eli, you have to talk to him. There's nothing to oh, talk what? about. Tell him you want to get married. Okay, oh, Mom, God. please stop. Yes, Emily, please stop. You know that Laurel... If Christopher has found someone who will actually allow him to be a father to his own child, then of course, that's what your choice. He has a chance to be a father. I applaud him. Then you're he an idiot. He was already a fucking father, man, damn. He just sucked at Richard, it for so long. You do not walk out on me when we are having a discussion. Richard! Oh God, I hate fucking Christopher so much. And I hate how people treat that guy. I hate him so much, man. Me, new <laughs> customer. I've never been in here before. Just walking down the street, and I, I spotted this place. Oh, hey, nice place. And I came in. <laughs> now Mimi is going to pour herself a... <sighs> I hate admitting it because I fancy myself Wonder Woman, but... I really want it. Oh, damn. The whole package. Never got any... Real... No. I know. How do you know? Because I know, okay? I know. Now eat your donut. I'm really not very hungry. <laughs> we'll take it with you. You will be later. Hey, you're home. Did you break up? Yep, I'm home. Oh, oh hey, I figured out how to get the lazy, hazy, crazy days of summer out of our heads to sing this. 
I do think the basic sentiment of make up your mind is kind of called for. Oh, I apologize. Painful, but I didn't mean to upset you and yell at you and make you feel bad. I'm oh, really you sorry. should I definitely know. make her feel but bad. You were right. Oh, well, that's once, I guess. You're her mom. So how was Yeah, they're still Really? Here. Really? I don't know what I was doing. Maybe oh, it's because break. I haven't dated a lot, but this just thing was crazy. And I do love Dean, and you were absolutely right. I was treating him like dirt, God. and I wasn't appreciating what was right in front of me, but I'm going to now. Rory, I don't want you to stay with Dean because of me. I know. Because I was upset earlier. I know. No. I still have this Christopher thing Everything bugging me and a pressure that you said is dinner. right, but she needs to break up with him. I didn't want to upset him. you, and I certainly don't want you to make an important to set this. I feel really good about this. Okay. Because if you Two decided you really uh, didn't want to... Date Jess, I would help you get vaccinated. Thank you. <laughs> All right, as long as you're good. I am good. Well, okay, good. What about you? Are you good? When they were. Uh, all right, solid episode start to season one. Um, I'd give it an eight. I don't go higher because we're still in the same freaking situation with Dean. Um, Rory needed to make a decision there because it's going to be the same bullshit. Jess will break up with the one girl and it'll be... Rory being like, well, I was going to choose you, and then you had somebody, and now I'm with Dean again, and then more of the same. <clears throat> um, Everything else, uh, Su uh, Suki trying to, um, I don't know what that whole thing with the trying to, she's scared of losing Jackson, so she's trying to overcompensate and overdo stuff with when it comes to, like, the house. Uh, We had some small little banter there with uh Michelle, and... Rory's host, I mean, Paris's whole situation where she got a little, she had a date. Rory had a lot of time away. She was thinking about, she, all those letters that she got from Dean, are we meant to believe she sent, she, she replied to them or is that all the letters Dean sent and she never replied to them? But uh, I'm not sure. She never came up with anything to write to Jess. And let's see what else, what else happened? Uh, I like the Paris situation. I like their back and forth. I like their little banter. I like how nervous she got. I like how when she wasn't thinking, that's how that's when she got asked out to, on a date. Uh, Rory, like I said during the reaction, I really don't like her right now. Um, because you know, I mean, I don't like the decisions she's making. I like her being as a character. I think I like. I think she's a very fascinating character, but. I don't like the decisions she's making. They're making they make me very mad, make me very upset with her. Because she's acting like her age, you know. But the problem is that she's never acted like her age, and now that she is, it's kinda hitting me. And I'm like, no, Rory, you're making these horrible mistakes. And then at the end, like, I was totally on board with Lorelai yelling at her. Like I was so on board with that. And not yelling at her, just speaking to her loudly. Because she wasn't really yelling at her. She was just saying, Make up your mind. You can't keep doing this flip flop bullshit, dragging Dean his heart like through the streets treating him like shit what you did was messed up and i like that she yelled at her um so then we had the situation with roar with lorelei uh, emily and richards i fucking hate like the way that people like why does richard kiss christopher's ass so much why does he love richard like why does he love christopher so freaking much like he kept saying oh well you know he wanted to be there Again, nothing about what Lorelai did meant Christopher couldn't be a present father. When Lorelai said she didn't want to get married, Christopher made the jackass decision to not be there. That's on him. That's not on her. All right? Just because she doesn't want to be with you doesn't mean that you, have, you can't be there for her and the baby. All right? It's your kid. And apparently nobody sees this shit. And it annoys the hell out of me. They're like, oh, well, Christopher this and Christopher that. And now Christopher has his stuff together. And all of a sudden, now Christopher, you know, he's going to do the right thing and get a family. And I'm like, what? Because he he grew up 16 years later. Is now he fucking grew up? Are you kidding me? I hate that, man. It makes you so mad. Making Lorelai feel like crap. Uh, then we have the whole Dean situation. I mean, uh, the Luke situation. I thought that was a great moment. Her crying, her being, being, being very emotional. Or letting it out this that this was that although she puts this demeanor of being Wonder Woman, she wants a family. She wants it. And I don't know if she'll ever get it. You know, the show's making it seem like it's gonna be Luke, but maybe it's not. Maybe it won't be anybody. Maybe the show's purpose is to always be two girls together. I don't know. Um 
the dream scenario at the beginning. Wait, did I give it a score? Yes, an eight. Uh, the dream scenario at the beginning, I thought was really solid. I mean, I got so confused. I had to stop it and make sure I was on the right episode. Because uh, Luke and Laura are together. And it turns out, oh, it's a dream. And then Rory makes fun of her. It's been the whole summer, so we're skipping the whole summer. Now we are back on the day. No, the day before. No, Rory's coming home tomorrow. But here we are. Um, Jackson's happy, but Suki is very nervous, and she wants to man up the pit lace, and she ends up buying everything at the uh, at uh, at Lane's uh, mom's shop. We then hop over here to see Paris and her whole situation and how she's annoying everybody. This guy that likes Paris. Great times for Paris. Good good job, Paris. Uh, we got Kurt and his whole hi hey there thing. Lorelai has been told the mo mom about Christopher's whole situation. I love this whole scene. Making putting her for a date, setting her up for a date and how nervous she is and how scared she was. She's like, no, you gotta hide in the closet. He sees you, he's not gonna want to be with me. That was funny. Uh, we're going shopping to man up the uh, house. Uh, we go to the uh, airport. I thought this pro this moment was cute when they stumbled upon each other because they're literally best friends. That's what th that's what best friends do. Uh, then you know we got Rory being Rory about like, oh, I gotta, you know, oh yeah, I gotta hang out with Dean. Okay, I okay, guess so I'll hang out with Dean. And then her, oh, I gotta dress up because you know I got somebody might see me, and she's like, who's gonna see you? And obviously it's a whole thing about just. Jackson and Suki are fighting because Suki's going overboard. Uh, is ever then Rory sees Jess making out with somebody and she's mad. And then she gets yelled at or talked about. She just talked to. And I'm on board with this. I'm totally on board with everything she's saying. And uh, the fact that Rory's like, I don't want to talk about this anymore. And she walks away. That's on her, but I'm fully okay with what's happening. And then Dean shows up and Rory pretends everything's okay. And then we have the whole situation here with the dinner. I hated it. I mean, I hated it in the, in the best way for the story. I hated it because Richard loves Christopher and kisses his ass and all this other stuff and doesn't even care about his own daughter. You have these great moments with him and then you have some moments like this which makes you just hate the guy. Um, so Lorelai leaves, goes back to town and then this is a great moment too with Luke and um, Lorelai and her, her breaking down and the whole Mimi situation and everything. I thought it was funny. That was great. I thought it was nice. I thought it was sweet. I love that Luke you was know. there for her. You know, he's um, down on great terms. And then the thing that the decision that I don't like is that Rory is still with Dean. I think that this, they should have just broke it up and that should have been the way that the season went. But nope. Still going to be the here. Still be a thing. And that's, that's, that's the episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, Patreon for the full reaction. I cut episodes over there if you want them. If you don't, totally cool. Let us know if you want to know this show, but I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys.